Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, there's just one thing that uh, I wanted to show you guys that I bought like a few months ago, but I never actually showed you guys. That's this guitar here. You know, I got it for 80 bucks. It sounds good. Well, I know a few chords though. like to share with you guys the very few views I get is what I want to see from Wii U, Xbox, and the PlayStation 4. Let's jump in right into the Xbox Fusion or 720 or Xbox 8, whatever it's going to be called. We'll find out on the 21st of this month. So, one thing that I would like to see, or better yet, here, are no squeakers, where they sound like Mickey Mouse just got kicked in the nuts. Ugh. And what's even worse is that all claims that self true mother. You know, uh, you know, the adults, too, I mean, really. Adults need to mature up, you know. And not bring other people's mothers into this. Another thing I'd like to see from the Xbox is free online. Oh, excuse me. You're charging from 20 bucks a month to $25 every three months or sixty dollars for the whole year, which is not that bad. But for people who had their Xbox for the six, seven years that it hasn't been out, which I highly doubt that, because the first Xbox filled out the ass uh, with the hardware failure, you know, the red ring of death. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's possible, but nearly impossible. You know, they've been paying sixty dollars a year for your online service. Now, over the course of six, seven years, they could have bought six, seven more games if they didn't spend $60 on your online service. This has to be said, and this needs to be fixed. Sure, Xbox Live is a good service, you know, uh, less lag, that's just my personal opinion, than the PS3. But you can't charge sixty dollars a year just to hear a bunch of little seven year old kids call each other faggots. Another thing I would like to see from the next box is no rushed hardware. If you're gonna rush your hardware, you're gonna have poor performance. You rush your freaking three, Xbox 360, then, you know, the Red Ring of Death, and just, what the fuck? My cousin, uh, my cousin got one of those last night. And so he calls me over the next day. Hey, come over, let's play some, uh, what the hell was it? Uh, was it Call of Duty 3 or Call of Duty 4 or whatever? Something Call of Duty 4 it was out like then. What was it Call of Duty? It was some Call of Duty that was a launch game for the Xbox 360. You know, all right, I'll come over. So my dad takes me to go over to my cousin's house because he, him, uh, my uncle worked again at a body shop. I went over there, and as soon as I sat down, I picked up the controller and I hit that uh, set of button to power up the controller. Guess what happened? Red ringed. 
and I was pissed off and I didn't even own the system then. Now, on to the PlayStation 4. Please, Sony, do something with your online. You know, offer an Ethernet cable. You know, stability, because Wi-Fi isn't all that reliable. Please, and include a mic with your system. You know, everyone on Xbox has a mic, because, you know, most people who bought their Xbox, most of them came with a microphone, a headset. Sure, it was cheap, but it fucking worked. And people had one on PS3. I barely see people with mics on there, man. Granted, I don't own a 360 or PS3 right now. Try, again, trying to set up for one. I'm saying it. Uh, sound like a broken record. Jesus. Two from the place. The second thing I want to see from the PlayStation 4. I don't want to see games get thrown in the shit just because they've been. You made three games, six games, four games. You know. This is the game. These are the games that sell your console and give make you money. So don't freaking cut off their heads, you know what I mean? Just shit them, shit on them, flush them out of the toilet, and start shitting another uh, IP. You got rid of Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, one of my favorite games on your system. Back on a PlayStation 1 and 2. And you just fucked it all. Fucked it all. Onward. Now this is something that I want to see actually cross-platform. No exclusive content for third-party multiplats. This goes for Xbox, for Call of Duty, and the same goes for Assassin's Creed for the PlayStation, and shit, uh, other exclusive content. This pisses me off, knowing that like, uh, let's say, Call of Duty, and let's say I only have a PS3, and uh, Xbox gets all the patches first, it gets all the maps first, what went before, you know, PlayStation, and it's just, oh, what the fuck? I'm playing a fucking broken-ass game, because, in fact, I heard, uh, Black Ops on the, Black Ops 2 on the PlayStation 3, even Black Ops 1, is broken on the PlayStation 3. The only platforms I know it's stable on is 360 and Wii U. PC, and I think PC. And also, I don't want to have to uninstall trophies when I just brought, bought a brand new game. I don't want that. Because now I gotta wait for a 30 minute pass just to play a fucking uh, 10 minutes of Assassin's Creed and go to bed. Or play uh, 30 minutes of Uncharted 4, you know, and go to bed. This, I don't wanna see that. And I don't wanna see the hard drive always failing and you have to constantly reboot it just because you hit the eject button too damn soon. Now, this is from Wii U. Nintendo, you have fucked up the launch of Wii system. There was only a few commercials. You need more commercials. You need more ads out there. Two, you need to prove the power of your system and you need to do it fast. Three, Release Pikmin 3 already. Jesus, this was supposed to come out two months ago. And now it's going to push all the way back to August? Really? What the balls? You know, you push back uh, Bayonetta 2. You push back. Uh, what the fuck? 
Anyway, this is my next gen console wishlist. Peace.